state system for health care coverage, but in Washington, it seems like they're doing almost everything right. Yeah, Sally Showman's been looking into this, comparing both the states since she joins us right now. Sally, it really is an embarrassment for Oregon that we can't seem to get it together with our uh, health care program here. You know, and Jeff, I spent the last couple of days comparing the states side by side. Now, what has Washington done so differently? Who spent more money on their website and more time on their website? I found some answers this afternoon. Well, we recognize that Oregonians are frustrated. We're frustrated too. For months, we've been reporting on Cover Oregon's problems. By approximate percentage, how much of the website is actually done? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for help for my family. Uh, well, Mr. Chair, not, uh, I don't know if I can say a percentage. You. I didn't realize that there were problems of this magnitude until they were, you know, pretty significant. The price tag for the website that's yet to enroll a single person, $78 million. That's 18 million more than Washington functioning health plan finder website. At, while we're in a good place, I mean, there's still a, a number of issues that have frustrated our customers. Washington ranks fifth in the nation, enrolling 176,000 people by the end of November. Oregon ranks last, enrolling just shy of 16,000 by paper application as of today. Washington health plan finder spokesman Michael Marchand says their success comes because they kept things simple. It's not as fantastic and sexy as we would like, but it does work. He uses the analogy of building a house. He says Washington picked the basic model. So we skipped a lot of the uh, granite countertops and high-end, you know, uh, items that will go in the furnishings in the bathroom and the like uh, to make sure that we had a solid foundation, we had enough paint on the walls, we had the, all the rooms in the right place. If you flush the toilet, it worked. How about time spent on websites? Oregon Oregon began in June 2011. Washington started almost a year later in April 2012. The phrase that Cover Oregon has said over and over again is that they took a four to five year project and tried to condense it into three years. Do you feel that same way? Oh yes, that's, that's a Herculean lift for anyone. Oregon is using Oracle, the second largest software company in the world, to develop its website. They've consistently missed their deadlines. Washington used Deloitte, the company responsible for four of the most successful healthcare exchanges in the country. It's important to point out Washington's site has not been flawless. Right now, about 20% of users get an error message while enrolling. Still, it's a lot better than Oregon's website. Reporting in the studio, Sally Shellman, Coin6 News. Great comparison for us tonight, Sally. Thank you. And stay with Coin6 for the very latest on the issues facing Cover Oregon. We will continue to report on them and bring you updates on air and also on our website, coin.com.